Welcome back inside Clune Arena. The Falcons win the first game in the Stacey McIntyre era, 94 to 64 over the Regis Rangers. Here at courtside, I'm Brian German alongside my broadcast partner, Gene Parker. And Gene, just a great game for the Falcons. And we remind you, they were down 10 nothing at the start of this basketball yeah, game. Yeah, and we said at halftime, that first five minutes, then they woke up and they've been awake since then. And it's a great all around team win. I know Milani Perry had a lot of points, but we saw a lot of contribution from the bench and deep into the bench as yes. well. So it was great to see everything that they've been working on in the preseason to come to fruition tonight. Especially against this Regis team, the Rangers, I remind you, two time RMAC uh, tournament champions and uh, just not tough enough tonight for the Falcons. The Falcons were all over them. Let's take a look at the numbers in this basketball game. And characteristically enough, the bottom line, turnovers, 21. You know Coach Mack just picking up from where Coach G left off, yes. forcing turnovers and getting easy baskets off at shooting 53%. Yeah, and you know, one thing that I think Coach McIntyre will hone in on because as a coach, you can never just say, oh, we did a great job. Let's just move on to the next game. <laughs> She's gonna hone in on those rebounds. Yep. It was pretty evenly split, but you want to see if you have a dominant game, you want to have those rebounds much, much higher from the Regis than the Regis Rangers. But I, I think I'm nitpicking here. I, I'm trying to trying to think of what Coach McIntyre would say. That's why he got you on the air. Nitpicking. 11 of those 39 rebounds came from Jada McNabb. Let's look at some of the highlights and first some of the younger players for these Falcons. How about Emma Lytle getting her first collegiate basket right here and also coming back off the Sydney Roundtree also got her first basket. And it just the joy to see on the player's face. And I think Emma Lytle had some friends down from Denver. They were all celebrating, <laughs> celebrating each other. And I think the bench was just going just as crazy and probably having to hold each other back from going on the court. And in the first half, it was really Madison Smith who got this team started. She ended up with 14 points. And uh, Maddie really can can score a lot more than that. Yeah, and you'd love to see that from your players, being able to score in bunches because down the road in the season, you're going to have to turn to a Madison Smith, a Milani Perry, a Joe Hunterman and say, hey, we need points here, so we're just going to give you the ball. Go create. And Keely O'Halloran also had 14 points for these Falcons. And uh, Keely can heat it up as well. She was 5 of 9 from the field, but really the player that – uh, maybe deserves the most attention tonight as <laughs> Keeley loved that shot right there is Milani Perry picking up where she left off from last year three points shy of a career high with 27 tonight and you know if we showed every basket we'd be here for another two three minutes and again <laughs> she did it from all spots all over the floor and not to mention her defense was excellent too she had it she had a couple steals so that's what you want to see from one of your top players being able to score in a variety of ways but also be able to distribute the ball and pick it up on defense absolutely are you worried at all for coach mack that you know a 30 point blowout in the first game maybe the, the players get a little bit overconfident after this. They might, but I think she'll humble them tomorrow in practice. Again, I think <laughs> the coaches will go back and say, yeah, we did X, Y, and Z great, but hey, we still have a lot of work to do. It's the first game of the season, so you can't get too high. If they would have lost, they can't get too low. Oh, certainly. So the Falcons took care of the Division II Regis Rangers by 30 points, 94 to 64. Next up for them, they'll take on South Dakota, a Division I opponent. The Coyotes will come in here uh, for that game, that'll be on November 8th at 4 p.m. right here at Clune Arena. Well, we thank you all for watching. We hope you enjoyed this broadcast. If you want to knock off the Mountain West app and come right back on, the men have a game right after this one. But for my broadcast partner, Gene Parker, I'm Brian German. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time here on the Mountain West Network.